Mobile phone photography can be mastered by most people, usually in specific occasions when cameras are not allowed. For example, on a train or plane, we can take our mobile phone and shoot, which is quick and convenient. They are the same as cameras. Why do mobile phone photographies have these advantages? Mobile phone is small and easy to carry. Usually, we、we'll、put it in our pocket, and when we shoot, we can take it out at any time. Their pixels are high. Now, their pixels can reach tens of millions, which is completely enough for us to publish pictures on social platforms. Mobile photography is flexible. We can shoot from a low or high angle, so that photos with diversified angles and scenes can be captured. The shooting methods are diverse. There are multiple cameras in a mobile phone, and we can choose a variety of focal length. Or lens, which offer more possibilities in retouching. Mobile phones can install many apps, which is convenient for photo editing, including pre-shooting adjustment. In fact, we can install many retouching apps in our phones. Through these apps, we can quickly get a final version and share them with friends. Or on our social media. There are many photography composition techniques. I use quite many, such as center composition, the role of thirds, and frame-based composition. They can cover most shooting things. Their logics are simple to understand. For example, to put what you want in the center of an image is the center composition. It is suitable for shooting scenes and characters. The rule of thirds divides the image horizontally and vertically into three equal parts, and the intersection of lines is called crash point. Frame-based composition is a special kind of scene composition. It is similar to the blocking framing method in scene composition. Frame can form a difference between the front, middle, and back scenes in the image, creating a 3D feeling. Frame does not only refer to actual frames such as glass and windows, but also frames that can be created, such as buildings on both sides of the image, tall trees on both sides, etc. Different composition techniques can be combined to form a new composition method. But I want to tell you that you don't have to remember the composition techniques. Usually, we can judge the composition by a simple method. For example, a photo with reasonable composition should have a list of focus points. Sometimes I put this point at the bottom. Like building blocks and buildings, one third at the bottom is full, and one third at the top is empty, so that image will not be top heavy. For photographers, works are born out of daily accumulation. It is very important to develop recording habits. With powerful functions of mobile phones, we have more opportunities to capture wonderful moments that may happen at any time. This also requires us not only to develop recording habits, but more importantly, to improve the observation angle we're used to, to see the unusual in the ordinary and find more beauty that people ignore. Photography is a habit. When you see something interesting. Have an inner pulse to pick up your phone to record it. Never hesitate. You should do it immediately. Mobile phone photography is convenient and free. You can record it at any time. When you get into the habit of shooting, the composition and subject will be a piece of cake. But all this requires a pair of eyes good at finding beauty. To sum up, see more, think more. And shoot more. Next, I'll leave you an assignment. Let's look for a nearby place to take a photo with character and big scene.